All right, so after all that fun, where are we? Miss Alicia, 75, okay. Uh, we're getting close to, um, words. We're getting close to words. We're getting close to that vacation. I've got half a mind to just wait until that's over before we go on more dates. I think I might just do that. Alright. I just also want to check how my Swiffy taps. Okay. That's good. And according to my tally, unless I've missed something, I think we've only had seven? Seven? Seven. Seven's what I got down. Seven text messages. Um, so far, so we should get three more with Bay. But I could have forgotten to check. Nope. I mailed you a smooch. Thank you. But I think it may have gotten lost in transition, unfortunately. I didn't notice it come through at all. Then I'll send more. No, still nothing. I can do this all day. As can I, Ducky. Good. I don't care if you decided you're gonna be the one who acts dumb now. This is what I want to do anyways. Peachy. <laughs> all the smooches for Bay. I approve. Even if he doesn't want it. So that means we're down to two. Is it July and August that we get a new outfit? It might be. So January, February, March, April, May, June. Yeah. July and August is the new date outfit, which we've kind of seen already uh, because of going on vacation. But I'll unlock it when we're done. Let me get back. I think I need to sleep this coming week. Our last meeting. Boo hoo, boo hoo. For this year, anyway. Um. Happy ending. Sorry to disappoint, Nate. Okay, do a text, and then a sleep tomorrow. There we go. I'll energize for a while again. Why are you texting me so late? All right, we're finally at the trip. I can't wait to see the pajamas again and find out what the heck happened with Jeremy and Bay. And all kinds of stuff. This should be a lot of fun. <clears throat> Apologies for the clearing of the throat. I'm still... Still got a little bit of stuff going on. A little bit of sick stuff, but... Mostly, mostly better. Do, 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 do. Actually, I'll just drink some water while we're waiting. All right, we're here. We're also going to get our first CG. Bay music, that's a good sign. Mm hmm? Is someone there? Hey! I've got to look at this wonderful thing again. So, so wonderful. Bay? Good evening, sweet pea. Did you even check the peephole before opening the door? What the hell are you wearing? You noticed. It's a bear sweater and pink plaid pants. How could I not? <laughs> True. But it looks nice, doesn't it? It's adorable, Bay. Thank you. 
Is that all you wanted? A compliment on your PJs? No. Actually, I was wondering if you've seen Jeremy. No, why? Is he missing? He is. He left our room and I haven't been able to find him. Since I didn't see him in the hall or lobby, I thought maybe he'd stopped by someone else's room. Sorry. Oh, thank you anyway. I'll be going. Have a good night. Wait, what did you do? Why do you assume I did something? Because Jeremy isn't proactive. He wallows in misery all the time. I can't think of any normal reason for why he'd put in enough effort to leave. Fair enough. You're right. I upset him. But that's why I'm looking for him. To apologize and ask him to come back. Why do you care? Well, I am the one who asked him to share a room with me in the first place. It'd be terrible if he ended up with nowhere to go because of me. Mmm, no, not really buying it. <laughs> That's your choice, Twinkle. Ta-ta. Hold up, I'm coming with you. That won't be necessary. I think it is. You admitting to doing something wrong, Jeremy being bothered to the point of doing something, you being willing to walk around to look for him after you spent all day complaining about walking? It's too odd to leave alone. I'm following you whether you like it or not. All right. I suppose I could use the help. Well, that was a fast turnaround. I don't remember the room numbers for the other two pairs. You know where they are, right? You, you remembered mine? I am touched. I do, but you're here at my room. Does that mean you remembered it? That's right. Aren't you flattered? Unnerved is probably a better word. Why would you remember my room number? No reason. I just thought I might end up stopping by to say hello at some point. Oh, really? Just to say hello? Stopping by is not no reason. That's exactly what a reason is. And I'm not sure I'm comfortable knowing you planned on doing that. Is something up here? Did you go crazy, kill Jeremy, and I'm meant to be your next victim? I'm not sure why you're so worked up. Don't you like special attention, Posey? Yeah, but that doesn't mean it makes sense to get it from you. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now, what were their room numbers again? Sure, sure, follow me, since you're not going to admit to anything. Hmm. Intriguing. Whose room is this? Everett's in Pran's. I figured if he was going to go to a room, it'd be Pran's. My, that's so smart of you. No one else ever would have thought to do the same. Don't sass me. I'm doing you a favor. Of course. Hello? Shiloh? Jerkette? Bay? Hi! What are you doing here? Oh, <laughs> You see, Pran and I switch rooms. He's with Nate now. Great. What's going on tonight? Sorry. It's fine, Muffin. We're not exactly looking for Pranny. We're actually looking for Jeremy. Have you seen him? Not since after dinner. Mm, thank you, anyway. Okay. Is there anything else? No. We'll be going now. Good night. See you then. I hope you find him. Thank you. Guess we're going to Nate's room now. Unfortunately. Lead the way. <laughs> well, there's a contrast for you. What? Hey, Nate. Have you seen Jeremy? No. May we speak with Pranny? You know about that? Ugh, it doesn't matter. He's not here. Where did he go? He left. I don't know where he is. Lovely. That will be everything. Bye-bye. Good. Keep it that way. Now what? Should we talk to Lynn? No. Jeremy would only get angrier if we involved him. Yeah, probably. Why don't you see if he went back to your room? He's not going to be there. Seriously, what did you do? Well, 
I got carried away and forgot how sensitive Jeremy is to attention. You mean you were being nice? Not exactly. So what exactly? <laughs> I wasn't prepared for the music change. The truth is, I like pajamas. And? And I really like pajamas. Okay. <laughs> Her face! <coughs> he looks so happy. That's why I wanted to share a room with Jeremy. I knew he wouldn't disappoint, and he didn't. They're so darling, I can hardly stand it. He does have some very cute pajamas. Uh, is that why you remembered my room? You wanted to swing by and see if I had pajamas worth creeping on? Yes. <laughs> well, at least he admitted to it. Are they? In general, yes, but not in comparison to Jeremy's. Well, alright then. Thanks for letting me know about your weird pajama fetish, I guess. That seems like too strong of a word. Yeah, I think you should leave Jeremy alone. But I don't want to. Go to bed, Bay, and maybe take a cold shower first. You can apologize tomorrow. Oh, maybe you're right. Good night and goodbye, Twinkle. Night. <laughs> He's so not going to bed. He really did have a thing for Jeremy. <laughs> We somehow survived the night. So, did you see him? Who? Jeremy. His pajamas are just exactly what you'd want to see, right? Yeah, they're pretty damn cute. I know. <laughs> I think I kind of like seeing you genuinely excited. Uh -huh. Don't get used to it, Cookie. Don't worry, I won't. You're not excited about me, so I wouldn't want it to stick anyways. So moving on, I'm kind of surprised you actually came down in your pajamas, Bay. Everyone was going to wear their pajamas. Except for Lynn, but he doesn't count. Yeah, but their pajamas are not your pajamas. Yes, isn't that a horrible shame? Ugh, did you see what Nate was wearing? As if I needed another reason to find him intolerable. <laughs> You're seriously gonna like him less because he has ugly pajamas? Yes, there's no excuse for that. You are so crazy. As though you can talk. Would you like Nate as much if he wasn't as good-looking as people say he is? Fair enough. Good. Now come on, let's hurry to breakfast. I want to make sure I get a spot with a good view of Jeremy. <laughs> be such a creep to poor Jeremy. No wonder he was so upset. Sure, as long as I get a good view of you. Fine with me, Sugar Plum. Thank you. You're so generous. Yeah, there's that outfit. <clears throat> I guess we have to go on a date to see what your cat will say about it, because she always has something to say. Oh, that was amazing, though. So Bay has a pajama fetish. Not just a glasses fetish. Interesting. I actually also have a love for pajamas. I have way too many pajama clothes. I think I own more pajamas than any other article of clothing, basically. Uh, but they're so comfy! Wait up, Bay. Yes, what do you need, Starfish? I wanted to know if you ever completed your quest. Oh, no. How? You've had a whole day. True, but I'm not going to bring it up in front of everyone. And I haven't had any time alone with him. I wonder why he wouldn't want to be alone with you. Well, excuse me. I'm going to see if I can speak to him before he goes to sleep. Where is he sleeping now? Oh, right. You didn't hear. All the pairs have been changed. Now Shiloh and Everett are together. Nate and Jeremy are in a room, and I'm sharing with Pranny. Fun. Hardly. 
I don't want to share a room with Pranny. He could have cute pajamas too. Maybe. Probably not. I doubt that will be the case. And even if he did, he doesn't have the figure to pull them off. Ah, right. Of course, my mistake. Good night, Jerkhead. Bye, Bay. What? Is someone there? <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Bay? Why are you here? If you're looking for Jeremy again, he's not around. That's not why I came, Gumdrop. So you're here for me this time? Yes, I am. Good! Come on in! Make yourself at home. Oh. Aw, you're still all down. How amusing. I wasn't able to talk to Jeremy. Then why aren't you out there searching for him? Because I know where he is. He's already in his room with Nate. Neither of them are going to let me in. <laughs> Too bad. That's an understatement. Seriously, I don't get it. Why do you care? You make people want to stay away from you like every day. What makes this time so different? I think you could figure it out if you tried thinking a little, Ducky. Just tell me. It's too close to bedtime for thinking. What a precious perspective. Fine, I'll explain. I certainly have enough experience explaining the obvious to people. Oh, goody. Now, the reason this is such an issue is because I was in the wrong. That's it? Yes, I am very rarely wrong. In almost every situation where I upset someone, it's because the truth can be hard to bear. And even if I can be a touch sarcastic with what I say sometimes, it is all perfectly valid. So I have no reason to make it up to the person even if they don't take it well. When I actually am out of line, I can recognize that and always apologize. That is why I care so much. Honestly, Sugar Plum, if you couldn't figure that out on your own, I have to worry a bit about how you handle your mistakes. And now that I'm finished explaining what you wanted to know, do you think you could stop texting? Don't worry, I wasn't ignoring you. I was texting all that junk to Jeremy. What? You can't apologize through texts. Sending that to? Stop texting him. No, this is fun. Instead of forwarding what I said about fixing your mistake, she should be learning from it. Uh-huh. Hey, I got a reply back from Jeremy. I can't believe he saw those. <laughs> I'm helping. He says... Whatever, with a little colon capital T face. <laughs> uh-huh. How very like him. Yep, I guess it's settled. I'm still going to apologize in person, but thank you very much for the effort. I should be getting back to my room now. Leaving before I have to make things any worse? See, you can think this late at night. Mm-hmm. It sure was neat seeing you admit to being wrong. We should do this more often. Good night. Yeah, yeah. You still came to me twice, and I'll never let you forget it. <laughs> I never did hear why he was having such a trouble with Pran, though. It's just that... Pran didn't have the right figure for pajamas. <laughs> According to Bay, anyway, I would disagree with that. But I'll have to withhold judgment until I actually see Pran's pajamas. That was the first time I didn't have to go wandering to find the guy myself. He came to me instead. Alright, it's Saturday. Alicia, where are we at with that boy? Getting- ooh, 205 -o. Can definitely, definitely go on a date. <clears throat> Where do we want to go? Is the question. Can't go to the Tunnel of Love yet. Um, pool's locked for now. Yeah, let's do a second date at the museum. Why not? Hello. Hiya, Bay. I'm in the mood to go out again. 
That is just wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Uh-huh. You are coming, right? Of course. I would never want to miss an opportunity like that. Great. Is there some place you'd want to go to? You actually want me to choose. Not exactly. You can give a suggestion and I'll let you know if I'll accept the idea or not. You are too generous, Ducky. I know. So, what you got? Well, if I remember correctly, you didn't get much out of our little trip to the museum. That is quite unfortunate, don't you think? The museum? Yeah, I guess we could go there again. Oh, really? I had expected you to immediately reject the idea. I'm not as predictable as you, Bay. See you tomorrow. Yes, goodbye. Wow, first time ever the guy got to choose. I'm shooketh. <laughs> Gonna just poke him again. Bay? Mm, yes. Sorry, my texts are a little short and slow. I'm getting changed at the moment. Then you should have waited until you were done to begin a conversation in the first place, silly Billy. Let's do that starting now. Uh huh, I think I know the real reason you want me to stop texting for a bit. You need time to settle down after that mental image. <laughs> of course, of course. Okay, I'm done. I hope that wasn't too agonizing of a wait. The wait was crushing, I assure you. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. No, that doesn't mean this is over. It means we can talk. I'm uh, afraid I may still be too out of sorts for that. Get over it. Fine, sweet pea. It's been gotten over. All right. Do you want me to give you something else you'll have get over? Not particularly. <laughs> Not exactly. Hello, Twinkle. Hey, Bay. Isn't this exciting? What? That's what you said last time. How touching. I wouldn't have assumed you'd spend valuable mind space remembering things I've said. Well, it was a pretty absurd thing to say. Okay, really. Where on earth did you get white pants with green pockets? Who would ever think to make that? Do they have other completely random color combinations, too? Mmm, in a store, the designers have these pants. And yes, they do have other color options. Well, alright then. Moving on. To something more interesting, I hope. Nope, it's less interesting. Joy. Don't be a baby. I was kidding. This is way more exciting, to me at least. Do tell. I just wanted to say I didn't think I'd ever see you in a plain t-shirt. It doesn't have buttons or a collar or anything. You have a point. Normally t-shirts are far too casual for my taste. However, it has a very nice design. You mean those random patches of colors? Yeah, I guess those are pretty impressive. It must have come from the same geniuses who brought us white pants with pockets and some other color. <laughs> they are from the same brand, actually. Seriously? Are your shoes are are your shoes or glasses their brand too? No, sorry. Oh, too bad. That would have been funny. <laughs> Moving on. Now that we're here, I expect you to pay attention to the pieces, Dumpling. That's why we came today. All right, but you better focus too. I'm sure it'll be hard with no dinosaurs around to keep your interest. <laughs> Are you going to spend the entire day bringing up what was mentioned last time? Probably not. How reassuring. However, you seriously should endeavor to stay with me here in the present. The present is the greatest gift you ever get, and there is so much you can take from these works of art. That's why I wanted to come back here. Although, even if you did pay attention, it might be expecting too much for you to actually understand any of it. Oh well, we should still attempt to get something through. Please. You wanted to come here so you can have an excuse to be extra snooty and show off your sophisticated tastes. Now where you Now where did you ever get that idea, Starfish? I care deeply about broadening your mind. 
Yeah, I'd say it's probably 75% what I said and 25% what you said. But speaking of sophisticated, tell me about your parents. What? I want to know about your family. Are they like you? Are they normal and you're weird even amongst them or what? Why all of a sudden? Because you attempting to broaden my mind sounds terrible. I'm trying to change the subject. Are you really going to waste our time here again with irrelevant chatting? The museum isn't going anywhere. There's always another day. Now get to it. Well, I'm the firstborn in a family of four children. I was raised by my mother and father. My mother was born in this country, and my father immigrated here during his late 20s. They both have family in South Korea. I see, I see. And your siblings? Is this really interesting to you, Sugar Plum? It's good enough. If you say so. After me, another boy was born, then a girl, and finally another boy. I don't think my parents were planning on having so many children. Weird. I honestly can't even imagine what the parents of someone like you are like. And I don't mean how intelligent they are. I mean, like, where could they have gone so wrong? <laughs> My parents are lovely people. Very encouraging, highly supportive, never disciplinary. Why would they need to show tough love when they have a child as flawless as you? A uh, fair point. However, there was another reason for it, at least when I was small. Something besides you being perfect? Impossible! It's true. I'm also amazed. It passed me by during those years, though it's obvious upon reflection. When I was in elementary school, some rather unruly little ones rather pitiably attempted to bully me. Ah, poor Bay. I didn't even notice. However, my parents certainly did. Excessive positive reinforcement was their attempt to counteract any negative effects the bullying might have had. That's just beautiful. You get well along well with your family, huh? Oh yeah, spectacularly. I worry every day about how they're doing without me. Sadly, my education was simply too important. It would be a tragedy if any of my potential was wasted. I bet it's been tough. But if you were still wherever they are, then I wouldn't be able to enjoy your wonderful company, and isn't that far more important? Uh huh, no. Not even a pinch. Rude. The one time I would have liked you to humor me, you blow it. You blew up last time. It makes sense something else would be blown up this time as well. Wow. If you had to start bringing up last time too, did you have to pick that part? Aren't you ashamed? No. <laughs> well, I had fun. How nice. Maybe someday you'll do more than that and learn something. Yeah, maybe. I wouldn't count on it, but it could happen. I'd have to go without your beautiful face there, though, to really focus. Uh, we're getting there. All right, let's take a break from the dating scene for a little bit. Oh, that's... <laughs> My heart wanted to do something else, apparently. It's like, no, you must continue dating. <laughs> but, but... Then I'll have nothing to do later. I might not even have anything left to do, really. I feel like we've done most of the dates. Bay's just so dateable. He has hardly anything locked off. I should check my click status as well, actually. Now that I think about it. Missy. Missy, missy, missy. Them troublemakers giving me trouble all the time. We might have one more text, or we might have done all the extra th three in this one. I can't remember now. All right. Everett and Nate hanging out like they do. <laughs> Mom! Yes, it's about Nate. It's always about Nate. He's so rude. Uh, 
And another week. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, the pencil scene. Excuse me, Ducky. Do you have a pencil I could borrow? Mine seems to have run off somewhere. Are you trying to put me in a bad mood? Everyone knows I can't stand unpreparedness and you could have asked anyone else. Uh huh. What a conclusion to jump to. How could I possibly have known asking such a simple question would upset you? You cretin! And I'd say the lost pencil line was a total lie. But considering it's you, genuinely misplacing a pencil is probably how you came up with this little stunt. Again, I cannot figure where you're getting these ideas. <laughs> I'm done talking to you. Oh, Nate. Gotta give Bay such a hard time. <laughs>